Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! This is your ever Shadow Blade 730. Let's explore the mythical world of 65 million BC! Okay, so I take this to the Ioka Village? Ikea Village? No, no. Does Ikea be much, much well, more well furnished? Um, no, I'm human, not reptile, so... Sweetwater? Sure! Hey, hey, free in. Very nice. See, no scales, warm-blooded, can't be a reptite, so everything's just, just cool. Alright, let's see what's in this hut. Yeah, this happens to be probably one of my favorite parts of this game, really. Love 65 million BC. Well, I wouldn't call it skins. Oh, so she does have a pretty red stone. I wonder if it's a dreamstone. I hope it's a dreamstone, otherwise we came all the way over here for nothing. Let's see what's over here. Okay, another I Ioka hut. Yeah, pretty nice little village here. Let's see, like decent people. Hey, hey, you got a unique sprite. Oh, so thunder stun all dinosaur. Okay. Oh, so if I got the okay, we could trade. Sure, I'll trade my shiny stone. That's what you got. Oh, that's it. Ugh. All right, not the greatest, but okay. Let's see what you guys say? So it is a trading house. Petal fang horn and yeah, feather. I don't remember that. Okay, here's a meeting site. Not really much going on there right now, but first let's check out the chief's hut. Let's see what Ayla has to say. Okay. Oh, she got a bunch of bear skins. She must be a hunter. Oh, we're gonna have a party? Awesome! Caveman dance. Yeah, I am pretty strong. All right. Unga. Now we dance. Get down and boogie. Uh, sure. Why not? I don't know how hard they twist in your arm. I mean, not really forcing you, but okay. Yeah, there's other things you have to do right now, so. All right, come on. Let's go get around here. Let's see what some of these um, people have to say. Oh. Uh, because we're cool? How many generations? I mean, all right. Ooga Booga? Really, game? Really? Oh boy. Alright, let's see what Ayla's got to say now. It's not really like Star Tropic Syndrome. So many bugs in it? You're still drinking it? Well, don't drink it. Whoa. Luca's getting a little hammered there. Specific Jurassic Pork Soup? Oh, Azela? She sounds like a pretty nasty little individual. What a mean person. Well, you're pretty hardcore, okay. I don't know about day, it looks like it's nighttime, but who am I to be facetious? Sure. By the way, in the actual um, original translation, that's not soup, it's um, something a bit more adult. If you get my drift, and uh, Luca's getting a little, um, a little sauced. Alright, let's see what I, else I has got to say here. Yeah. Oh. So, what kind of challenge are we going to do? A wrestling match or something? No, we're going to have a booze drinking contest. Okay. Although they, they call it, they call it a super, you just mash the X button and just... Pound that soup! <laughs> yeah, they want to they call it soup because I guess they want to make it a little bit more child friendly, but yeah, it's um supposed to be something a little bit more, like I said, a little bit more adult. <laughs> you're not really eating, you're more drinking. Man, it's gonna be a bad morning. 
I've had many of those viewers. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Well, yeah. I'm surprised you could even process it. <laughs> you a perfect lady? Yeah, uh, uh, that's what they all say. Yeah, that's what they all say. What? What? No, so you mean I'm stuck here? Okay. We can find out who next stole our gate key. Cause I do. I mean, I do like 65 million DC, but I don't have to st be stuck here. We have a future to save. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Too much soup. Yeah, yeah, soup. Yeah. Oh, those dirty little reptites. So here we get a new party member. We get Ayla actually in our party, and we get to pick: do we bring um, Luca or do we bring Robo? Honestly, I'm probably gonna bring Robo because I do want to build up his um, cure beam, and it's gonna be a little while till we actually um, learn Luca's next tech. All right, let's see now. For some reason my controller is kind of acting up. I want to access my menu here, but it just didn't want to agree with me. All right, here we go. Let's have a look here at our new party member. Yeah, have you noticed Ayla just used fists, so she's kind of a cheaper party member, I would say. All right, we're gonna take that berserker off of Robo. We're gonna give it to Ayla. She's a little bit better, and I want a little bit more control over um, Robo. Because he's got some pretty good skills, and he's probably going to be our healer, and... Yeah. He's got his own little... I guess. Definition of what he actually does in our party. But Ailey, she's just so fast, she hits so hard. And like I said, she doesn't have a weapon. Just her own fist will do so. She's very, very nice. Very, very nice character. Uh, at 10 tech points, she does learn Kiss, the healing spell. But more importantly, later on, she's going to learn a lot of good abilities. One is really essential for this playthrough. I'll mention it when she actually gets it. But first, now that we have the approval of the chief, let's see if we can actually do a little trading here. Okay, fang pedal, horn and feathers, three of any two items, and uh, okay. Oh, so I gotta go hunt some down. So remember earlier when we fought those dinosaurs and other creatures, they were giving us, I think, feathers or petals? Yeah, that's actually what they're used for. Let's see if anyone can tell us actually where the heck these reptiles went. Maybe you know, little girl. Oh! So they came from the forest maze. Alright. Eh. Alright. see if we can find that forest maze real quick. Alright, let's head down here. Here's the forest maze. But before that... Let's go see if we can't get some trading materials. So, um, see what kind of items they have for actual trade. Believe me, they're well worth it. All right, no okay, case. So over here, I believe. All right. Yep, right here at the hunting range. Oh, excuse me. All right, now the enemies here aren't really tough at all. They give okay XP and tech. But more importantly, they give a lot of those tradable items. We have a new enemy here. Croaker and Phoebe and Fibites and Rainfrogs. I guess even though they all have the same sprite, they're actually different creatures. Which is kinda interesting. Just one attack from each should take them out. And we got them. Let's see what we get here. Hey, two fangs, two feathers, and two horns. Very nice. Do a little exploring here. There is no treasure in this area, just encounters. And if you leave, you just respawn them. See if that, oh, more creatures. What we got here? Looks like some kind of primitive slime. Come on, primordial ooze. Nope, ions and anions. All right. Whoa, really good shot there, Ayla. All right, we got them. Hooray. Two feathers, two petals. Okay, building up our items. 
Now there's one very, very unique encounter in this area I want to get to. It's just going to take a little bit. Um, now if you wait whenever it rains, remember he did say a rare monster would appear. Let's see if we can actually trigger that. Now he does appear in one of three locations. It's kind of random. There he is. Okay. Here's our new enemy. The new. Not N-E-W. But the N-U. New. I don't know how I actually got that name, but it works. He's a very unique encounter where um, whenever he does attack you, um, his attacks will drain you down to 1 uh, HP. But with the two Berserkers and Robo attacking and trying to keep everybody healed, we should be fine. Alright, he should be done. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Okay, he sh no, should only have like a few more hits left before he's done. Get him, Ayla. Got him. Hooray. 248, 30 tech points. That's the big thing. And we learned Kiss. Hooray. Now Ayla can kind of heal whenever we're not in combat. What do we get? Three of each of the items. Very, very, very nice. And since it's the first time we beat him, we get a third eye. Third Eye is a triple tech, I believe, that you can put on one of your party members as an accessory and enables the use of a triple tech. I never use those. But since we learned a new tech, let's have Ayla kiss herself. Just like James Brown. Alright. It's a little old of a reference for most people, but hey, I like old references sometimes. But let's go finish exploring this area. Um, now, every time it rains... There's probably a good chance you'll see a new somewhere in one of three locations. Uh, one of them is one location where you saw I fought him. One is a little further up on the lower platform. He'll show up there. And there's one other location and I'll show off real quick if I can get to it. Let's get rid of these ions and anions. And we can use, really use all the... Um, tradable items we can get because we can get some really 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 good stuff right now all right well man there's a lot of low level enemies here sounds like my dog's chewing out right now he's really hungry I mean he's well fed I mean, big grass-fed mule dog but I love him wouldn't have any other way just wish he wouldn't knock all his food on the floor I don't know why he does that, but... Oh, well. Anyways. Okay, here's the amphi... Amphibite. <laughs> Amphibite. Hooray! A little bit of XP, fangs, feathers, and horns. Hey, Chrono got a level 2. Very nice. I don't want to level up too much, because there's a certain point I want to reach. Um, remember when we fought Specchio? Now, every time you hit a level threshold... Specchio will gain a new form, and if you beat him, you get a new little set of uh, rewards. So I don't want to get too high in level where I miss a set of rewards, but I want to be high enough that way it makes the encounter a lot easier. Let's go see if we can trade away some of those items, see what we can get from them. Alright, yep. I'm pretty sure I have enough items to trade now. Yep, let's see what we get. Alright, now let's trade a petal. And a fang. Let's see what we get. Oh, fang. Oh, stone arm. Oh, yeah. Definitely want that. It's an upgrade for Robo there. I don't know what a stone arm is going to be due for a robotic um, character. But, okay. Petal with, let's see. Petal fang. You know what? I probably will do that later. But right now, I don't really need it. Because she's not in our party, remember? It's time to be our party for a while. So, let's go with petal. And let's go with Horn. See what that gets us here. Yeah, I'm not gonna be using Marley for a while. I'll probably still get it eventually, but not right now. Not right now. There's other things I need a lot that are a lot more important than that. Trade Fang with a horn, and we get a flint edge. Yeah, good upgrade for Chrono. Very good. Yep, still wanna trade. Alright, let's trade a horn with a feather. Hey, Rock Helm. Yep, that's another um, helmet upgrade. Yep, there's one more I want to get. Let's see. Uh, let's go with a... Ooh, what are we going to trade here? Horn with... Hey, that dude... No, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. Well, there's one more left I want to see. Which one is it? Alright, so you got Fang with... 
Yeah, Fang with Feather. Yep, Ruby Vest. Definitely want that. There we go. I don't think I have enough for another one, but I'll go up there and... Um, off screen, I'm probably going to grind a little bit just to get a couple more techs. But more importantly, just to get another Ruby Vest and another Stone Helm. Just to have a full set for my party. Yeah, I don't have enough, so... No, don't want that. Don't worry about that. And probably just also get enough to get the Sage's Bow and the Ruby Gun. Just to get everything I can right here. Because eventually I will have, um... Uh, Luca in my party. So, let's see. Let's go here. Let's equip... Him with the flint edge. Wow, what an upgrade. There you go. And uh, probably gonna equip Robo with that equipment because yeah, he's gonna need the def all the defense he can get right there. There we go. Wow, 101 defense and the Ruby Vest half um, fire damage. So it's really nice. Now, I wouldn't get a Ruby Vest for Luca because honestly, she already has the Taven's Vest. And while it doesn't have the defense of the ruby, the ruby vest, it does give her a plus two speed, which I find is a lot more important, especially with um, Luca, since she is kind of slow. But first, let's drink some sweet water to recover our HP MP. All right. But can we find our gate, our lost gate key? And then procure the Dreamstone so we can go back to the future, save the future by um, reforging the Mass of Mune. Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730. See you all next adventure.